Well, hello. Hope everybody is doing well. I am in a slightly new stream arrangement. Is my shirt... Okay, it doesn't... I've got a new shirt from Uniqlo. If you want to see it, it looks cool. It says Card Capture Sakura. Um... <clears throat> So this is going to be a completely different pace from um, the last game. This game is going to be a lot more, how can I put it, chiller? Like, it's not going to be over the fucking top like uh, 16 was, or Final Fantasy 16. Um, just a couple of... Let me just adjust my audio. Um, just a couple of little housekeeping things here. Um, why is my chat not showing up on... Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's a cool shirt. I got from Uniqlo. Um, yeah, my chat's not showing up in... There we go. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, I got it from Uniqlo, like, last week when I just saw it, and I was like, oh, I really do need to get my hands on this. Um, so the next game after this will be Snatcher, and I am toying with the possibility of playing Kingdom Hearts 3 after I finish, um, Snatcher. Um, I need to do a little bit of a lore dump to figure out whether or not, um, um, it'll be worth my time. And, um... If I can at least get caught up on all the side games that I have zero interest in playing and just get my memory refreshed on what um, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 were like. Like, I remember the story. I tried to replay it on Kingdom Hearts 1 a while back and I just really hated the gameplay. And I really just don't care to replay them after, like, I finished them ages ago. So, toying with that idea. Um, a chain of memories, if you will. Exactly. Um, hey, Bryn. Um, I should say hi to everybody. Handstands, Continuum, Ikkyo. Bryn already said hi, too. Um, hello, everybody. Um, I have new alerts. Nobody is obliged to do anything, but I am trying to lean into a couple of things that I think are funny. Um, I might change them a little bit, but, um, um, we'll see how I feel about them. Um... What else? What else can I tell you? Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I have no idea when the sequel to this game is going to be coming out, but, um, yeah. Let me double check that this is going to work. Cool. Alright, awesome. I just wanted to make certain that, um, this game is going to show up on here just right. Also, weird thing happened today. Um, bit of piece of weird news. It might be possible... If any of you are from all following the Cookies Bustle uh, saga, it might be possible that the copyright troll who may or may not own the trademark, who the hell knows, um, might be um, possibly hitting people who are making fan art for Cookies Bustle. I've never spoken about Cookies Bustle on stream, but... I just got pinged about it on Discord, and it's just the most stupid thing I've run across in ages. Um, who knows if the person who's doing this actually owns the copyright? But... Yeah, tazzing it, yeah. Like, who knows, like, well, people posting Let's Plays of it have gone dinged, and people posting, like... Uh, clips of the game, and now somebody posting fan art is more than enough for it to um, just be enough to just completely get hit. Like, it's just, it's stupid. Like, it's fair use when it comes to fan art. There's nothing um, illegal about making your own fan art for a game you're playing, um, for a game you like. Um, yeah, that's really about it. So, um, I'm gonna play Professor Layton, a game that's not gonna... I shouldn't say it won't piss me off, but it'll piss me off less. And, uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, oh, I gotta enter my name again? Fine. Uh, 
All right, let's see how this goes. I might need to, every once in a while, switch between the two screens, but we'll see. Oh, there we go. It's really hard to tell what era of London this is. It's so funny. It just doesn't seem to add up, Professor. I honestly thought you were pulling my leg. What? I wouldn't dream of it. He wouldn't dream of it. Professor, I hope this letter finds you well. As for me, I am in quite a predicament. You see, the London we know and love has been thrown into absolute chaos. To complicate matters, the calamity I speak of does not take place in your time. The audio sounds so much better than the other games, or is it just me? This may be difficult to believe, but I am writing to you from ten years in the future. I know this is a lot to take in. But I'll explain it all soon. For now, I ask that you head to the clock shop on Midland Road in Baldwin. I look forward to seeing you again. Your student, Luke Triton. Strange as it sounds, it seems that the author of this letter is none other than your future self, Luke. From my future self? But how is that even possible? I don't know. There's a weird graphical glitch question, in this game, I've noticed. This letter is indeed authentic. How did it get here? Um, by time traveling postman? Just joking, of course. But seriously, I think this mystery might be the strangest we've ever encountered. Indeed. And even in the future, you seem to need my help in solving it. Oh, don't let that, don't let that get to your head there, friend. Your constancy can be quite a comfort in these uncertain times, my boy. This game takes place in year 2023, then. Uh, well, thank you, I think. Uh, but back to the letter. How do we know it's real? Hmm, well, we haven't much to go on yet. What is causing the weird lines here? This might be the emulation. Of last week. Let me just double check something here. This might this give me a sec here to Yeah, I don't think I can really fix it. Oh, I don't know what's causing it, so. Yeah, well, I noticed a couple of st these things as I was um, testing it out yesterday. There was another weird issue. I was able to guide a concentrated stream of ham and air particles through a temporal vortex, more commonly known as a wormhole. A stream of particles allowed me to divine the terminal points of the vortex. Divine. The next step was to artificially distort the vortex. We got our modern day Isambard Kingdom Brunel here. Once the magnetic field is firmly established, one has the ability oh. to quite literally punch holes oh. or hive gaps into the very fabric of space time. After this oh. crucial step, Oh, quite the uh, spread we have here, Inspector. Okay, so it looks like the only parts that are like causing this graphical glitch are the parts that are being animated, but still, this doesn't make quite make sense. Hmm. 
That's hilarious. Yeah, if you make a time machine, it's gonna have it's gonna be steampunk, right? Let me double check. Maybe, just maybe. Give me a sec here. I'm gonna change something here. Give me one moment here to fix this. Okay, let me close this out real quick. I just saved state. By the way, I do own a copy of this game, if anyone's wondering. Um back to this. I'm gonna put a new Okay. Oh, it won't let me load a save state from a previous version? Ah. What do you know? No NDS. We might have to live with the, um, might have to live with the graphical glitches. Yeah, I'd have to reconfigure my stream to use it. Melon DS has worked fine in the past, that's the thing. quite understand why it's been doing that, but... Yeah, what do you know? Uh, save states do not try to go between the two versions. Apologies for this here. I just need to make. If I can fix this, this would be great. If not, what happens if I just set it to this? Ah, okay. So the tra the solution is to not re uh, not to you internal. Okay, I have a I have the fix. I have a fix. All right. So the solution is, it's like what I was doing is I was in, using the internal resizer here. And the consequence of doing that is it causes those lines to appear. Um, so my fix is just to not do the uh, resizing that way. It looks a little bit fuzzy as Though a result. It does make me wonder what but you did to it is what it is. To such a feast. I didn't want to go and like redo the emulation. Um, I'm not going to do that on stream. It's obvious, Barton. I'm an influential man in the world of law enforcement. I have a question. Is Layton and Chelmy's voice actor the same? It's only natural I'd be invited to an important event such as this. You have some memory of the plot of this one? A cab, yeah. Uh, I suppose that's possible. Possible use. They are the same. I can hear this. I can hear the similarities. Um, um uh, probable, highly probable, sir. I don't know who Barton's voice actor is, though. I think this is the first time Barton has spoken. 
All right, so we have all this. I remember this from the last two games. Actually, three games, really. All right. Old Chelmies and Bartons, yeah. Hmm. Where are my hint coins at? Oh, this food is simply dreadful, Bill. I do is, this over are, is everybody so voice acted leave. in this game? Oh yes, dear. I, Jeb, is it the the Catriella and the Millionaire's Mystery or whatever it's called? Oh, I do I'm intend sorry. to play it as a hate I as a hate stream. Yeah, I bought the whole trilogy That's on iOS, understandable, Luke. I'm sure but it doesn't stream very well, so I'm playing the DS the release. Of the Prime Minister. Hey, look! I think I see Inspector Chelmy over there. Hmm. So, Professor, what do you think about this whole event? Do you think that someone has really built a working time machine? Technically, we live in a time machine. I'm not entirely sure. Still, if it proves to be true, can you imagine the stir it will cause in the scientific community? Well, I think it's really exciting. You can go forward in time real fast if you have enough Anything energy. Is possible, Luke. But I won't be convinced until I've seen the contraption work for myself. And I must confess, something about this entire presentation seems a bit off. Yeah, well, this guy is really no Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Oh, my mic is dusty. Why do you say that? I cleaned my office oh, over the weekend and it's still dirty. That must be your famous intuition talking, eh? Oh, Luke. That's one way of putting it. But enough speculation. They Look actually there, Luke. They have what an actual 10-year-old dude looks voice, is that the case? That god. What about him? He seems to be looking for a man who snuck into the event uninvited. Ooh, so we have an intruder in our midst. Here is Village and Diabolical Boxer on Play Pass. Both are... They're okay games. I enjoyed them. There's a reason why I'm playing the third one. Oh, they're both... They're voice actresses? Got it. It isn't like B... Uh, sorry, um... Um, Bravest Warriors, where they actually had to do something about um, uh, Catbug. There's an uninvited guest at the... Let me uh, show you all of what the rules are here. There's an uninvited guest at the presentation, but the guards receive a few clues about his whereabouts. His table's adjacent to one that has a red flower on it. His tablecloth is a different color to any of the adjacent tables. Oh, his table doesn't have a yellow flower on it. Adjacent tables are connected by dotted lines. Take the guard to the correct table. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right. So... Yes, I know how to play. I've played three of these games so far. I know what I'm doing. All right. So these all these have a red a red flower. So we know that it's this, 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 and this. So it doesn't have a yellow flower. So it could be this and it could be this and it could be this. So it narrows it down. Adjacent tables are connected by dotted lines. Take a guard to the correct table. Okay. Is adjacent to one that has a red flower. His tablecloth is a different color to any... Oh. Then we know the answer. It's this one. Because all the other ones are... Oh, hold on a sec. Doesn't have a uh, his different his two adjacent tables. So 
Then that leaves... And then it's this one. Where's the guard? Here's my answer. Wait, how the fuck did I screw it up? Let me think this through again. What did I do wrong here? The color is different. That's what it said. I can't believe I got the first one wrong. Doesn't have a yellow flower. The tablecloth is a different color. Oh, adjacent to other ones. For fuck's sake. Wait, it could be this one then. I misread that as a red as a red table. Actually, oh, that makes things there. That's a le level of complication here because is it this one? Because <clears throat> it has to be this one. <clears throat> This. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, that's a relief. I misread something, and then I also got kind of fooled by the colors on the table. So. Yes, I'm aware of Pickerats. Thank you. Wait a narc. Hey, listen. Listen. Just following orders. Can we get some hint coins here? Are there any here? Well, all right. Ladies and gentlemen. God, they really did put a lot of voice acting into thank this. Thank you for taking part in an event that will undoubtedly go down in scientific history. And here to demonstrate mankind's first time machine is its creator, Dr. Alan Stangan. Alan Stangan. Oh god, he looks like Thank Drebber. You, my esteemed colleagues. He doesn't speak like Drebber, but he sound he looks like Drebber. After years of research in the field of time travel, I'm pleased to share the fruits of my labor. Yeah, no kidding, they had a lot of money to voice act an entire Just a game. Few short moments, I will be moving on to our scheduled demonstration. Oh, he says the British word schedule. But first, I'm delighted to announce that Prime Minister Bill Hawks Bill is in Hawks today. As such, I have reserved a very It was contemporaneous with the movie. For our very special guest. Yeah, I trust Dr. Stun Gun Please, too. Join me on stage, Prime He's Minister. better than Mr. No Taser. Well, come in any faster, Is will ya? What do you mean? I mean, is this contraption a genuine working time machine? Why don't you have a One seat? frame of animation. Hey, hey, they blew the budget on voice acting. Before we start, would you honor us with a few words, Prime Minister? All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Why are you sitting on a cable? Hey. Today I'm gonna be setting up a different a new camera day. for her, so you Not can all request like a live nation, shot of her. But for the entire human race, since the beginning of time, we humans have strived to transcend our natural limits. We have conquered the skies and the seas. It fits, I sit. Yeah, pretty much. Even traveled to outer space. How are you? 
A kitty. So I don't want to have a wireless camera on my cat. That has Knowing her, she would get at something, and then you all time. end up with my weird address or whatever. Indeed, traveling through time is a dream many thought was out of reach for humanity. Until now. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will join me in ushering in a new era for mankind. Thank you for those. You know what'd be interesting is to see what a cat does in VR. And now for the like get a cat on a treadmill. Like on a omnidirectional treadmill, them. and then just have the cat run around in VR. I have just one more request before we start. It'd be terrifying for the poor thing, but it'd be interesting to see what it does. I'd very much appreciate the prime minister. I don't think I would ethically, ethic, ethically want to do it. Like I don't think I could. Uh, I I could with what my own say, conviction dogs? do it to my poor cat. What? I assure you, there's no cause for concern. Yeah, it'd be interesting, but I'd probably make her very, very upset and probably cause her some harm. I was under the impression that I would merely be observing the proceedings. Ah, well, so we're gonna send we're gonna send the prime minister back in time. Wish to make you uncomfortable. Eh, all politicians should be made to feel uncomfortable. I realize it's been some time since you traded in the hard sciences for the softer variety please feel free to return to your seat prime minister wait uh, what i mean to say is of course i can assist you why you want to be my cat jeb that's probably not a job i can give you ah uh, that's the yeah i would neg the prime minister too why not leader you have my thanks And now, without further ado, I give you my time machine. Come on. Mr. Hawks, would you mind just stepping inside? Oh boy. This is where we commit. What's the word what's the word if you like kill the Prime Minister? Like we have registered if you like kill a monarch. Surely he reads that entire reel of paper coming out. This seems safe. This seems incredibly safe. Boy, does this ever seem safe. Taking out the trash. This looks like a giant pressure cooker. Huh? Well, I'm not fucking kidding. It is a giant pressure cooker. Well. The prime minister was killed. Something's gone very wrong. I like how the two. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm and I'm assuming those are like his guards, and they're just doing nothing. The Prime Minister and Doctor Stangle have vanished. My word. Daily World? Is that what it says? So. It's a good thing it's not the Daily Mail. Last week is somehow connected to this letter. Wait, maybe if the time machine was real, this letter is real too. Notice how they are not on the London Underground. I don't know about that, but these two elements aren't the only puzzling issues. Tell me, Luke, have you heard about the recent disappearances occurring here in London? Ah, yes. Oh, yes. 
I read about it in the paper. Look at this. Look at this interesting script. Surely you can read that. Some of London's greatest scientists have been mysteriously vanishing. Yes, and I can't shake the feeling that those disappearances are linked to this whole affair. In any case, it seems our best course of action is to head to the location mentioned in the letter. Good idea. Didn't want, yeah, no, no kidding, hey? There are a lot of fucking cutscenes in this game. Holy shit. Following the clue in the letter, the professor and I set off. What awaited us was one of the biggest mysteries we'd ever encountered. Neat. The game starts, everybody. <coughs> Somehow, a single letter has made its way back through time. And the sender, strange as it sounds, was me. The future me, that is. Past me should write letters to myself. That this letter would draw us into the strangest of situations. Do I want to save my progress? Yes. Did they actually have these chapters before? I'm... I don't remember the, the previous games having chapters. Like, Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney did have to- oh, it did. Okay, it's been a long time since I played- like, the last Layton game I played was... Was it February? It must have been February or March. Alright, what's- what do we have here? All right, below is a map to the clock shop that accompanied the letter from Luke's future self. Starting from the yellow arrow, can you find the clock shop using the times listed on the map? Circle the letter in the of the correct building and touch submit. Okay. Okay, so. Starting from the yellow arrow, can you find the clock shop using the times listed on the map? Oh, I see. So what it wants me to do... Oh my god, they give you colors in this? This is great. Um... I'm lost to what this means. Like, it says, starting from the yellow arrow, using the times, but then the times are the same, except I'm assuming there, but there's two 12s. And there's five of them. Oh, shit! I know where to go. Okay, nope, I have this. So when you get to this intersection, you go to 12. I get it now. And then to 3. 12. 9. And 6. Alright. Here's my answer. 
God, why did I not think of that? I was like, what do you mean the 12th? Oh, hold on a sec. We're talking about hands on the clock. I did have to waste the coin, but whatever. I don't feel bad about it. This is no different than the previous games. find uh, or sell some hint coins. Bloody hint coins. Is there no hint coins in this? What the hell's going on here? Well, I'll talk to this person. I did touch that car. Fuck off. Oh, maybe I needed to do this in order to get the hint coins activated. That's annoying. I know how to play these games. I have played four, three previous latent games. These are un not unfamiliar. Can I skip this? I even broke a car for this game. I can't believe this game is trying to coddle me. Alright, let's look around here. There we go, one hint coin. Another hint coin. There we go, I got three. There's always three. The fact that I was able to find three hint coins so quickly tells you that I'm probably familiar with these games. <laughs> hey, Ikkyo, when did the Puzzle Master for uh, level 5 pass away? Alright, let's take a look at this. Alright, your bus journey to work takes one hour. You work for two hours, then take the bus home from the bus stop next to where you work. The bus timetables to and from work are shown below. You want to take, sorry, make the time between getting on the bus to work and getting off the bus to work as short as possible. Which bus should you take in order to achieve this? Okay. All right, so. Twenty sixteen. All right, so. Your bus journey takes one hour. You work for two hours. So you go to work at any of these times. But the bus hat leaves an hour. So. Do we know anything about the time they work?
Hmm. This is some interesting logic here, because, like, dumbass me wants to go with A. But I don't, that's dumbass me speaking. Hold on a sec here. So, I realized something here. These correspond, the, okay, so you have the left here is the times you leave and the for work, and then the other ones go back. You want the, the time is from work as short as possible. So, if you go to, if you take bus C, you arrive at 15.30, then you work until 14, sorry, 16.30. And then you have to wait um, seven minutes. Option B is you take the 1800, okay, sorry, option D, excuse me, is you take the bus at 18, you arrive at 19, you work for two hours, and then it wouldn't work for that. So if you worked at nine and then you worked for two hours, nope. So I think the answer is C. Here's my answer. How the fuck is it not C? Incorrect. Back to the drawing board. So it's not it's not that one. Hmm. But you work for two hours. Hmm. That does this this one doesn't make any sense. It would be C in my books. It takes one hour. So this gets This would get you there at 1530. No, but you are for two hours, Carrie. So you would be done at 1730. If you work at this one here at nine o'clock, you'd end up at. So let's do this here. So, so this would be seventeen thirty for finishing. This would be twelve. This would be seven. This one would be uh, 9 p.m. And this would be 3. So now I know what times these all start at. This would mean that you'd be waiting for this one here. This would be since the bus comes at 1030. You're looking at 3.5. The next bus for this one doesn't arrive until um, 1700 hours. So you'd be waiting five. This one here, you'd be waiting 2.5. This one here, you'd be waiting three.
And this one here, you'd be waiting two. So then the answer is E? Here's my answer. God damn it. You know what it is? I got tripped up by the travel time. It's the travel time that got me all tripped up. I want puzzles as currency. All right, let's, uh... There we go, one coin. I love the music to Professor Layton. It's re it really does sell the game to me. Eh, whatever, I'll talk to this bozo. Yeah, I've seen you before. Hey, Layton, you know about hint coins, buddy. Twitch is going to make me run an ad break. I've already delayed it once. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go and get some water. Y'all should do the same thing, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 